I will now demonstrate how to use Peaks Label Free Quantification Tool with a real dataset. The first step is to build a Peaks project for the experiments. Give a name to the project, specify a location to save the project, click the button of Add Data to add the data, navigate to the LCMSMS data location and select the data to be analyzed. Select a file or multiple files, use the Add File button and give a name for the file to show it in the result. Correct precursor is checked with mass only for the Orbi Trap instrument. Precursor mass error 20 ppm. Fragment mass error is 0 0.5 Daltons. And the modifications with regards to fixed we're looking at carbamida methylation and for variable oxidation on M and deamidation. Our database is the Swiss Prot and our taxa is mouse. And we're going to go with complete identification. That's database search, PTM, and spider. Now let's get into our label-free quantification parameters. The estimated peptide precursor mass charge shift between samples is 20 ppm. The estimated retention shift of a peptide precursor between samples is 5 minutes. Now for the sample groups. Each sample ran in triplets. Those replicates are grouped. We have now finished setting the parameters and are ready to import data and then perform the analysis. So let's click OK. Now after completing the analysis, identification and quantification results were present. Click node 11 and the details of the quantification result will be present. The protein heat map shows protein abundance profiles among all samples. These proteins are upregulated in disease samples and their abundance is consistent among replicates. These proteins are downregulated in disease samples. Also, their abundance is consistent among the replicates. This is the volcano plot of quantified proteins which plots significance versus fold change for proteins. Now we're looking at three groups. The majority of proteins are background proteins. We have upregulated proteins which have sufficient upfold change and enlarged significance and downregulated proteins which have significant downfold change and large significance. Here are the histograms of the feature retention time shifts and precursor mass charge shifts respectively. The red one identifies the shift before the retention time alignment and the blue one is of after alignment. On the top there are two sets of filters, peptide feature level and protein level. Significance of peptide feature, fold change feature, quality of feature, intensity of feature, etc. are used to filter out the peptide features. Protein significance, protein fold change, and a number of unique peptides in a protein are used to filter out the proteins. In the protein tab, a list of quantified proteins were displayed, sorted by significance. For each protein, its abundance profile in all samples and groups, etc. are displayed. The coverage map shows quantified peptides supporting this protein. The details of each peptide feature is listed in the Feature tab. The top three peptides with the highest intensity are used for protein ratio calculation. Peaks also provides peptide feature quantification. The Feature tab shows the list of quantified features. For each peptide feature, the XICs in all samples were shown and the integration areas of its XICs are listed in the table. The characterization of the feature in all samples are shown in the Sample Feature tab. The red line shows the boundary of the feature. The blue square is the MSMS spectrum provided peptide identification. It also provides a 3D view. Press the control button and use the wheel of the mouse to adjust. Pigs can quantify peptide features without the prerequisite of peptide identification by unchecking with peptide ID. Here is one example. There is no database peptide hit for this feature. PeaksDB provides more answers by integrating with de novo sequencing. Let's look at the de novo sequencing result from Peaks database search. Open the spider node 10. Select LCMS tab and go to the file SMA1. Peaks associates all identification and quantification results with peptide features in the heat map. Blue squares indicate the MSMS spectra. Solid blue squares are the MSMS spectra with confident database peptide hits. Solid orange squares show the MSMS spectrum without a confident database peptide but with a confident de novo peptide sequence. Red circles are the detected feature. Solid ones are the confident features which satisfy our filters. 
Our purpose is to see if this feature has a de novo sequence. Note that the heat map can zoom. In this case, we use the search function. Peaks will automatically zoom into the corresponding window in the heat map. PeaksDB provides more answers by integrating with de novo sequencing. Let's look at the de novo sequencing result from the Peaks database search. Here is one example where there is no database peptide hit for the feature. That said, there is a de novo sequence. When we blast it, and we find that it is a peptide from myosin binding protein C, which is a myosin associated protein found in the cross bridge bearing zone of A bands in striated muscle, myosin comprises a family of ATP dependent motor proteins and are best known for their role in muscle contraction. With this finding, we get a new biomarker candidate by using de novo only peptides. Let's address the exporting functions. You will also note that Peak supports the HTML format for easy web viewing and the text format for sharing and downstream analysis. If you'd like to explore Peaks further, there are several options. We have the option of downloading and trying out the software personally, watching more instructional videos, and you can contact us directly. We'd be happy to discuss your application. Thank you very much for watching, and we look forward to working with you in the future.